One of my subscribers said they were watching the video I did on the effortless one-handed backhand. And they said, hey, Tom, how can I hit an effortless forehand? Well, you can use the rubber band effect a little bit with your forehand. But let me say right here that you will always be working a little harder with your forehand. Because with your forehand, your arm is coming across your body. And you can't get as much rubber band effect. Um, on the backhand, you can get a lot because you're stretching out that upper back, the shoulder area, and you're really pulling that rubber band. But with the forehand, you can't get as much. And because the arm is coming across the body, you're always going to be working a little harder. That's why I like the one-handed backhand so much. I mean, there are some negatives to it, but, um, you know, especially high ones, you know, you've got to work really hard. But, um, uh, you know, it's, it's an effortless shot, the one-hander. But anyway, back to the forehand. How do we do it? Well, I don't know if you've seen uh, some of the forehands that Nick Kyrgios hits, okay? I've given that forehand a name. I call it the slap forehand, okay? He's real loose with his wrist, okay? And he gets, he gets good racket lag. And then he just snaps his, his wrist and his arm into the shot like a whip. And I mean, I, I mean, he's hitting forehands at like 125 sometimes, you know, so he's really cranking it. So anyway, how do you do it? Well, basically, when you, well, first of all, you've got to practice this and be very talented to hit this shot consistently. And I don't recommend it on anything that is not up above around let's say it's got to be about chest high. Chest high to shoulder height is going to be a good time to really use the slap forehand. So um, what he does is he's real loose in the wrist. He comes back and then he, he lays the racket back here a little bit. That's racket lag. And then he just snaps his arm into the shot. And uh, you can get that rubber band effect because you're stretching it out right here. That's where you're stretching that lower arm out, the forearm, and then you just snap that forearm and you've got to have a fast shoulder as well and you're going to get that power. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Okay, the racket comes back relatively high. Okay, once I get to this point here, now the racket is going to drop slightly lower than the contact point right there. Now I'm swinging forward. Right there, the racket is lagging slightly behind. Now from here, the wrist will snap right there and come across on the finish. You can see the position of my racket here. The wrist has fully snapped into the shot. Okay, again in slow motion, look for those key points. Racket comes back relatively high. I gotta get that racket up. It's a slightly low to high swing, but almost straight across. Right now, the ball's up around chest high, so I'm going to come straight across. Again, you can see the racket is lagging here. The wrist is out in front. Snap it into the shot and come across on the finish. Okay, from the side, you'll see a little different. Racket comes back slightly high, racket face is closed. 
Okay, right there you can really see the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist are leading. The racket is lagging. Now the snap, you can see the wrist has snapped. Now the racket is slightly in front. And then I'll fully snap on the finish coming across and you can see that the wrist and forearm have relaxed. Okay, one more in slow motion. Racket comes back high. And now the swing, remember, is almost horizontal with a slight low to high swing. The more horizontal, the more power you're going to get. But remember, the ball has to be up around chest high, shoulder height. Okay, right there again, you can see the racket is lagging snap it in, and the wrist has fully relaxed on the finish. That's how you get effortless type power with your forehand. Okay, there you have it, the slap forehand. Um, remember, this shot takes a lot of practice, and I only recommend it on balls up in the shoulder height, uh, chest high area, so you, because basically, you know, you've got to meet the ball perfectly, okay? Um, you're basically coming almost straight across with a slightly, you know, low to high swing. But you're basically coming straight across, slightly low to high, and you're snapping that forearm and wrist into the shot. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and post any questions or comments below. All the best and happy hitting out there.